State Reader School for the Deaf holds its annual fundraiser to secure scholarships for those in need. This year, they're getting some help from a graduate who's now a pro golfer. Being a professional athlete takes drive, but you could argue getting Kevin Hall's career off the ground took more tenacity than most. They recognize my abilities. They tried to encourage me and they gave me everything I needed here and I just soared in trying to reach my dreams. Hall is deaf and attended St. Rita's in Evendale where he first took a swing at the game of golf. I grabbed a club and I made a swing. I hit the ball and from that moment on I was addicted. <laughs> I wanted to learn everything about golf. I wanted to eat, sleep, and breathe golf. <laughs> and he quickly became one of the most skilled players in his age group, winning a national championship at 13 before finding major success in college. 2003, my grandmother passed away. So the next year in 2004, the Big Ten Challenge, it was Mother's Day. And I knew that my mom was missing her mother. And I wanted to do something so special for her. And so I won that Big Ten Challenge on Mother's Day. And so I told her that was for you, Mom. His family here at St. Rita's School for the Deaf was always top of mind, too. So when the chance came to give back at events like tonight's Dream Maker Scholarship benefit, it all just lined up. In my life, and personally, I was given many opportunities by other people. And so St. Rita's do the same thing for the kids here. We try to raise as much money as possible so the kids here have all the chances and opportunities they need to be successful. He says helping the school make sure more children get the same opportunities he had is the first step in equity on the green and in the game of life. And the more people that see that, the more people that believe that, the deaf can be successful and it's more than people can think. Now, Hall is a four-time winner of the Advocates Professional Golf Association Tour and was recently inducted into the African American Golfers Hall of Fame. Tonight's scholarship benefit only has a few tickets left. I'll have that information on my Facebook page, Kristen Swilly News. I'll also tweet it out for you.